Good day. This is JP Billionas. Whenever people hear my last name, they always ask, Are you a billionaire? My answer to that is, not yet. I used to have an above average paying job, but for some reason, I was not able to save money for my future, and worse, I was even drowning in debt. However, there were other people who didn't seem to have any problems with it. So I asked myself, what are these people doing that I'm not? That question led me to become a personal finance and investment literacy advocate. I help Filipinos appreciate the value of saving and investing in order to achieve their financial goals. Now, I'm a business development officer of First Metro Securities, the stock brokerage arm of Philippines' best managed bank, Metro Bank. The best runs in the family because First Metro Sec was awarded by Finance Asia to be Philippines' back-to-back -back best broker for 2017 and 2018, International Finance Best Online Broker and Best Online Trading Platform. We do our best to empower individuals and institutions to attain their financial goals. As a supplement to our on-site market education effort, I'd like to welcome you all to this webinar. You've probably seen or experienced how prices of stocks fluctuate across different time horizons. It ebbs and flows as investors buy and sell them. In this regard, many would like to understand the stock market price action. In this webinar, we're going to talk about what drives stock prices? How are basic candlesticks formed? What makes investors buy or sell? Lastly, how can First MetroSec help? Before we go any further, let's have a quick recap on the basic concepts such as PSE's regular trading hours. The market pre-opens at 9 a.m. You can post orders until it opens at 9.30 a.m., but modifications and cancellations are only allowed until 9.15 a.m. When the morning session starts, orders are continuously accepted and automatically matched based on the best market price available at that time. These are the transactions you see in the ticker tape. We'll discuss this further in the next slide. Morning trading session continues until the market takes a recess from 12 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. During this period, orders can't be entered, modified, and canceled. The afternoon session resumes at 1.30 p.m. and trading continues up until the market pre-closes from 3.15 to 3.20 p.m. Orders can be entered, but modifications and cancellations are only allowed until 3.18 p.m. The market then enters the runoff period at 3.20 p.m. Only limit orders at closing price can be entered until the market closes at 3.30 p.m. Please do note that while the enhanced community quarantine is still in place, PSE will be on continuous but shortened trading hours, which ends at 1 p.m. When you turn on your favorite business news channel or open your stock brokerage account, you can see what we call a ticker tape, which shows you information of stocks that were traded. You can usually see three basic information of the stock transaction here. In this case, they are MBT, 66, and 1360. What do these symbols and numbers mean? First is the stock symbol, where MBT is short for Metropolitan Bank and Trust Company. Second is the price at which the stock was traded. And third is the total number of shares that was traded. To summarize, this transaction tells us that 1,360 shares of Metro Bank was traded at 66 pesos per share. When it comes to investing in the stock market, you can earn money either through dividends or price appreciation. Investors buy stocks of companies because of its growth potential. Thus, the famous adage, buy low and sell high. But what really drives stock prices? What pushes it to higher levels? 
and on the contrary, what weighs it down? In essence, prices move due to the interplay of supply and demand between buyers and your sellers. Let's consider the following examples for better appreciation. First, why do stock prices increase? For this scenario, imagine yourself in an English auction for high-end art and collectibles. Buyers attend to bid on pieces that they like to own. But there are also other interested buyers, so one has to outbid all. The greater the demand for the piece, the higher the bid price can go. However, you don't need an antique or a Van Gogh to pick a buyer's interest. Dire situations, such as the COVID-19 outbreak, increase the demand for face masks and alcohol. People found an urgent need for these products, and some are even willing to buy above the suggested retail prices. Remember, the stock market is always forward-looking. If the growth prospects of the company is rosy, demand for their stock will increase. There will be more interested buyers, and existing shareholders will be less inclined to sell their stocks. This will encourage some buyers to offer a higher price for the stock and outbid their competitors. And this is how stock prices increase. Here's a scenario of a trading day where the stock price increased. It opened at this price level and closed at a higher price. Buyers were obviously in control of the session. Thus, the overall sentiment for the stock was positive or bullish. This term comes from the way a bull uses its horns to attack, which is upwards, like how the price increased during this session. We can represent this day's price action by drawing a candlestick from the open to the close. The body is colored green since the closing price is higher than the opening price. We call this the bullish marubozu, and this may signal a continuation to the upside. Second, how about when stock prices decrease? Instead of an high-end auction, try to remember your neighbor's latest garage sale. Either they were moving out very soon or just want to lighten on their stuff. They are even eager to sell them at a discounted price. When the community quarantine protocols were implemented, malls, stores, and restaurants closed down as consumer demand was expected to greatly decrease. Some businesses even partnered with grocery outlets to sell their ready-to-cook perishable goods just to clear their inventory and avoid further losses. Always remember, the stock market is forward-looking. If there's an imminent risk to the company's future growth prospects, demand for the stock will decrease. Existing shareholders will be more inclined to sell their stocks. Depending on the urgency, sellers might be willing to take a lower bid price just to lighten their positions. And this is how stock prices decrease. Here's a scenario of a trading day where the stock price decreased. It opened at this price level and closed at a lower price. Sellers were obviously in control of the session. Thus, the overall sentiment for the stock was negative or bearish. This term comes from the way a bear uses its paws to attack, which is downwards, like how the price decreased during this session. We can represent this day's price action by drawing a candlestick from the open to the close. The body is colored red since the closing price is lower than the opening price. We call this the bearish marubozu, and this may signal a continuation to the downside. By now, you might be itching to ask, what makes investors buy or sell a stock? There are various factors affecting this decision, but here are some of the considerations. Investors usually look at the country's overall economic outlook first to gauge the viability of investment growth. Here are some economic indicators that is closely followed. The sovereign investment grade determines the creditworthiness of a country. 
the higher the rating, the more attractive it will be for foreign entities to lend money and invest. The GDP broadly measures the overall production of a country. Investors are most interested in its growth over a certain period. A robust economy needs a strong labor force to keep it running, so investors are also looking at employment and unemployment levels. This measures the percentage of those employed relative to the total working age population. In order to maintain healthy inflation levels, central banks manage their country's interest rates to help sustain economic growth. But life sometimes takes us by surprise and throws curveballs in the form of a black swan event. We must be nimble enough to swerve them and avoid big losses. However, should it present an opportunity, we must also be confident enough to hit them for a home run. In times of a crisis or black swan events, investors are more inclined to sell their stocks. Here's how the Philippine Stock Exchange Index was affected historically. The Asian financial crisis of 1997 brought our index down by 41% that year. The global financial crisis cut down almost half of its value, 48.3% in 2008. Amidst a promising economic backdrop, the COVID-19 pandemic took the index by surprise and is now hanging by a thread with a 31.6% decline year to date. But every cloud has a silver lining. In the stock market, every downturn is usually followed by a recovery. When will be the recovery? That we can't know for sure. After looking at the overall economy, investors dig deeper by looking into sectors and specific businesses that can potentially grow faster or slow down in the existing economic conditions. Investors would want to position themselves in those who will benefit the most and lighten their position in those who will not. Government initiatives can put some sectors in the lead, while others will be negatively affected. Existing shareholders and interested investors closely follow earnings reports to check if the company was able to beat or underperform market expectations, its performance, and peers. They are also keen on how the board of directors allocates retained earnings. Are they generous to shareholders by giving higher dividends? Or are they reinvesting more to grow and expand the business? These are the basic considerations of investors when deciding to either buy or sell a stock. To see how this affects a stock price, let's look at JFC and RRHI. This is the stock price chart of Jollibee Foods Corporation from 2018 to the present. Over the course of 2018, JFC opened international stores in Italy, United Kingdom, and US. Investors dominantly bought around 240 pesos and sold at roughly 300 pesos. It then advanced to an all-time high of 325 pesos but met selling pressure. The acquisition of Smashburger decreased JFC's margins and sellers lightened their positions. This consequently dragged the stock price back to 280 pesos. When it acquired Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, it declined further to 220 pesos. Sellers thought JFC was putting too much on its plate since CBTL is still in the red and they have yet to turn around Smash Burger. JFC also had to close down its Yonghei King stores in Hubei province when the coronavirus proliferated in China. Investor confidence decreased as this will weaken JFC's earnings. Consumer demand for Jollibee is expected to slow down since stores have stopped their operations to help contain the spread of the virus. Now, JFC is only trading at around 100 pesos. This is the price chart of Robinson's Retail Holdings Inc. from 2016 to the present. In 2016, RRHI earmarked 5 billion pesos to expand the business. They plan to put up 200 new stores, which are mostly convenience stores and supermarkets. They also acquired 51% stake in the generics pharmacy. Since they also acquired South Star Drug in 2012, this strengthened their retail drugstore network in the Philippines. With these positive developments, 
buyers buy the stock price from 60 pesos to its all-time high of around 100 pesos. However, the company reported a negative net income during the third quarter of 2017 because of low household consumption. This was bad news for existing investors, so many lightened their positions. Furthermore, it reported lower earnings during the first quarter of 2019 after it consolidated with Rustance. The selling pressure weighed down RRHI stock price from 100 pesos to around 70 pesos. With the coronavirus outbreak, there was a massive sell-off across index issues such as RRHI. It is currently trading at around 55 pesos. In spite of the negative sentiment and the enhanced community quarantine protocols, RRHI's supermarket, drugstore, convenience store, and hardware segments remain operational. Our research team notes that these segments accounted for 78.1% of RRHI's revenues in 2019. The stock market has always been a battleground between the bulls and the bears, buyers versus sellers. Some days the bulls win, some days it's the bears who dominate. But there are also days where they end in a draw. Here's a scenario of such a trading day. It opened at this price level. Then early in the morning session, the bulls push it to this high price. The bears then emerge and pulled it back to this low price. In the afternoon, the bulls regained control and closed at the opening price level. To draw the candlestick, you draw from the open to the close. We call this the doji. In this price action, neither bulls nor the bears were able to take control of the session. So there's a draw or indecision. Here's a quick recap of the basic candlesticks that we have discussed. First was the bullish Marubozu, where the price action was driven by the buyers as it advanced and closed higher. Second was the bearish Marubozu, where the price action was driven by the sellers as it declined and closed lower. Third was the doji, where neither the buyers nor the sellers gained control of the session as it opened and closed at virtually equal levels. These are just your basic candlesticks. There are more candlestick patterns that can help you understand price action better, such as hammer, hanging man, piercing line, dark cloud cover, bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, morning star, and evening star. These patterns are very helpful when you see them around support and resistance zones, as they can be a reversal signal. Would you like to learn more about this for free? Log into your powerful first Metrosec online trading account now. Then go to chart, learn technical analysis, get started, level one. Internationally renowned technical analysis guru, Martin Pring will teach you wherever you are and for free. You don't even have to do it in one sitting since the course is modular and each takes only a few minutes. You can even check your understanding after every session. Furthermore, we provide our clients with the powerful tool, Recognia. This will be your edge against other traders as it automatically detects bullish and bearish events from candlestick formations, chart patterns, to technical indicators over various time horizons. It will even help you identify the support, resistance, and stop price levels for the stock of your choice. Our clients can access this feature by going to charge, technical lookup, and enter the stock that you'd like to study. We make things easier for our clients by providing them a report on the technical events that happen on a given day. This technical events report can be found by navigating to research, all reports, technical analysis. Do you want to have these features at your fingertips? Open your first Metrosec stock trading account now. Here's how in three easy steps, all online. First, visit our website, www.firstmetrosec.com.ph and click on open an account. Second, complete the online form with your username, password, and basic account information. Third, upload your required documents online. And you're done. 
no need for personal appearance, and printed documents. Easy, right? For inquiries, please feel free to email account opening at firstmetroslack.com.ph. Upon submission of your complete requirements, kindly give us two to three business days to activate your account. You only need one account for all your investment needs. You can gain access to your portfolio using your desktop, laptop, tablets, and even your mobile phones. Now, you can even easily trade online, anywhere, and anytime using First Metrosec Go, the most advanced mobile trading app in the country. All these features and convenience within your reach by Finance Asia's back-to-back -back best broker for 2017 and 2018, International Finance Best Online Broker, and Best Online Trading Platform. With First Metro Securities, you only need one. And with that, let me leave you this message. The market speaks through its price action. Understanding its language can help you earn greater profits.